Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, my lovely Capricorn. This is going to be your daily reading for your general energies and also for your love energies, Capricorn. Let's see what's coming up for your general energies, guys, before moving on to your love energies. For your general energies, Capricorn. We have the hope again. Archangel Gabriel, step into light. So with these cards, what I'm getting here is that you guys really are very spiritual, really harmonious. I think that some of you even practice meditation, okay? And you just want, you just want everything to manifest good for you all. And you just want that harmonious new beginning with someone or you just feel like, you need that harmony in relationship or whatever the energy is. You just want that harmonious new beginning. Or that's the energy I generally get for you here, guys. My lovely. Capricorn. Again, what I'm also getting here is that it's not just you who wants this harmonious beginning or it's not just you who wants this amazing union. But also I see here that your person wants you to have this amazing relationship or this person actually wants you to have that good energy or people around you really wish good luck for you they really care for you and you can trust the people around you if i'm really sorry if i told in my past readings you cannot trust anyone because with these cards all i see here is you can trust the people around you and they're going to actually protect you they're going to protect you they're going to do whatever they think is right for you and you can trust these people if i so, like, you cannot trust and all of that. I'm really sorry for that, guys. Okay? I'm really sorry. So, that's all I feel for you here. You're just going with this person who has to have hope in life. Don't lose hope in the particular situation. Don't lose hope in your love situation. Whatever the situation is, please don't lose hope. Because end of the day, you know how things are going to work out. You know how everything is going to be. So, please don't lose hope. Because... It is really going to bring you down and really going to give you that sad and sick feeling that you don't want to have in general, okay? So that's what I see for you here. Things are going to manifest well for you, but just make sure that you don't be negative. Just stay positive and just embrace change from any situation, whatever it may be, okay? So this is all I see for you here, guys, my lovely. Capricorn, let's see what's coming up for your love energies, guys. Okay, for your love energies, we have the Ten of Wands. We have the Six of Swords. Two of Pentacles. And the wands. So again, we have a lot of wands and soul energy. I see here you're dealing with Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So what I also see here, Capricorn, is that they want this relationship seems never ending. It's just like you you stay with this person in a committed relationship and after a few months of you staying together you tend to find this relationship really annoying or one if you finds this relationship really annoying and you feel like you need to actually come out of the situation and yes you're finally out of the situation you feel like everything is going the way you wanted it to be and blah 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 everything is turning out actually exact way you wanted it to be and everything is good you but you also feel like that change is not present okay that's what i see here so 
you feel like this relationship is never ending like it's this person is always coming to you and they're not leaving you and you just feel irritated because of how everything is turning out to be generally for you okay so that's the energy that i get for you all guys my lovely lovely Capricorn so this person you might also feel like this person is the one for you you might feel like you have a strong soul connection with this person because maybe you may have a strong soul connection with this person and you might feel a certain way for this person that's what I see here and it might also like this person might be like surprising you with something or you feel like a situation may surprise you if that's the case for some of you i also see here that this person may surprise you they might like talk to you all of a sudden or they might uh, gift you something all of a sudden or something surprising is coming up for you with this person also that i see here but general energy is going to be you're going to feel like oh my god when is this relationship even going to end because i really want this to end because you guys really cannot have this relationship with this person because it's just never ending it's just you just feel like you want this relationship to end and it's just not even ending and you feel really irritated because of this whole scenario okay that's what i see here for most of you guys for most of you in the sense for all of you that's what i see here so this is all again what i see here my lovely Capricorn, thank you all so much for watching, guys. Your lucky color for today is pink, and your lucky crystal for today is opal. Bye, guys. See you all tomorrow. Guys, welcome back to my channel, my lovelies. So, this is just going to be another pick a card reading of what messages this person has for you guys. How are this person's feelings for you today? So, this is a reading. If, if this, this is like a timeless reading, you can watch it even like anytime. It doesn't, uh, it's not specified for only today but the daily reading is not like that it is not specified for only today so this reading is just a general reading so even if you come across this reading after this after i post this you can still watch it and it will still resonate with you guys and it will also help you on your spiritual journey especially for those who are in a twin flame or a soulmate connection my goal is to always help you all become the greatest version of yourselves and to give hope into the situation where you feel hopeless because we all need to have the sense of hope and my channel will definitely help you to encourage yourselves on your spiritual journey it will keep you on track make sure that you're not distracted and i really hope my channel really helps you all in some of the other way so let's just start off the reading guys because that is the main aim of my channel to kind of help you all on your spiritual journey so i'll just start off the reading now how does this person think about you how do they feel about you so these feelings this person might have uh, might not have expressed these feelings to you but this is what this person feels deep down inside for you okay so let us just start off i will be just using the right away deck as usual because this is the deck i use when i need to get powerful messages powerful energies and today i feel this is a day where i need some powerful messages okay guys so let us see we have the world card we also have the five of swords and we have the seven of swords so yes this is just going to be a general reading and after this i will take three piles so you can choose one from this and that is going to be your pile pile number one pile number two and pile number three make sure to choose one from this okay or you can also choose this and this together or you could use that and that together so you can choose more than one pile you can choose one pile okay i will be 
keeping this card and I will be taking some more cards for clarification, for reference. So it's just not going to be one card reading, but please choose um one from these three piles and i will see you all okay so pile number one is the world card pile number two is the five of one swords in reverse and the pile number three is the seven of swords upright so please go ahead and choose a pile and see you all with pile number one and guys, please, if um, if you're watching this, please make sure to uh, link, I mean, put the timestamps of the piles in the, dis I mean, in the comments down, or I will link it in the description box below. You can go check that out. But if it's not in the description box below, then definitely one of my subscribers uh, will have link, I mean, would have linked to um, timestamps in the comments and you can go check that out. So now I'll just start out with the pile number one. So we have the world card guys and yes, so with this card, the world card is all about completion. It is all about a cycle being completed. This is all about seeing from a different perspective, seeing from a different point of view. And the world card can also mean, in some times, it can also mean a spiritual growth. So what I can see with the world card here, guys, is that if you know that this person is your twin flame or a soulmate, this cycle is going to be complete soon. Okay, for example, like this person is going to come towards you, your relationship is going to be whole again, it is going to be complete again, and you can completely trust this person with your life and with your heart. I can definitely see here that with this world card, there is the Ace of Cups card, I mean, lying around here. So I will just pick it up because I looked at it. So definitely this person is going to come towards you with the Ace of Cups. They're going to give you the love that you always wanted. If some of you are waiting on this person, this is the time that they're going to show up in your life. This is the time that they are going to come towards you and give you all their love to you guys. Okay. Yes, I can also see here that some of you uh, were even carrying this person's child or you even did an abortion or something like that. I, I'm not so sure. I'm really sorry. But that is what I'm getting here. If it doesn't resonate, it's fine. Maybe it's not for you. So someone, um, I can see that some of my sub subscribers or some of you watching this reading really sacrificed a lot for this person, sacrificed a motherly position for this person. But you need to understand that everything will is happening for a reason everything happened for a reason okay uh, things that happen in your life happened to make this union more stronger happened to make this relationship more stronger and you just have to believe that even if this is like the hardest thing for you to believe even though it is so impossible for you to believe just at least try to believe guys and you will see that everything is going according to your expectations okay and this is all i can see here for those who chose this pile i hope you got a lovely message today and i hope it really makes you happy and it also helped you in some or the other way and today all you need to do is you need to have hope you need to have trust in this connection i think you if someone like if you're watching this reading and if you've lost the trust that you have on this relationship or you have on this person and you feel like this is impossible for you to stay with this person, it's impossible for you to build trust on this person, don't worry guys, this is coming to an end. You don't have to worry anymore. This is uh, going to end. This separation is going to end. There is going to be, the cycle is going to be complete in the sense this person is going to come towards you with... A lot of love okay or this for some of you i can also see here that this relationship can teach you self-love so ace of cups doesn't really mean always someone giving the love it can also mean self-love it can also be love for oneself love of uh, being with others so that has so many other meanings too so this can also mean that so that is all i can see here for you guys for pile number one now let us move on to pile number two and if this reading really helped, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up 
and comment and this will really help me to grow my channel and help all the beautiful souls out there so yes guys see you all tomorrow pile number one So just you chose the pile number two. So the pile number two, what I can see here with the pile number two, we have the five of swords in reverse. So the five of swords, especially when it comes upright, it means someone defeated you, they feel defeated, they feel like something is being taken away from them forcefully, or something has um, been done not in a good way okay so there is no justice here in this situation something has been taken away from you but not in a good way not um like a battle won with a lot of deceit it is not won in the right way so that is the uh message here that i have for you guys okay so this person definitely feels what they did is wrong and they have some kind of a feeling in their heart that they are wrong and definitely i can see here that oh you are just viewing the situation like this maybe you just need to change your perspective or there's something um there is a lot of deceit energy here but then this person is covering up the deceit trying to pretend as if nothing happened they're trying to pretend as if like they were right they did the right thing I mean this person did a lot of mistakes they did like completely they just shattered everything and i don't know guys with the five of swords this person just ruined everything but then they cannot accept the fact that they ruined it okay and maybe because they feel too guilty they feel too annoyed with themselves they're just trying to forget the fact that they did it so they're not accepting that they did it so that is the main energy that i can see here with the five of swords so this person has still not accepted their mistake maybe they did something deceitful to you they did something that they shouldn't do but then they're not in a situation to accept it completely because maybe they're scared maybe they're scared to face the truth there are a lot of things blocking this person's mindset there are a lot of things just coming in between this person and they're not able to understand things completely okay so i will just pick out some more cards guys even I can see here that they are very, very confused with the situation. They don't know if you are meant to be or not meant to be. We have the Hierophant. So this makes this person talk to people around them. So you can see that this person is very, very confused because of the situation. They're not even able to accept their own mistakes, which uh, kind of like brings them to this weird situation. And now I can see here after this that this person is really broken guys they're broken they're not sure what they are supposed to do i can see here that they're speaking to people about this they're talking about this connection to people or they're continuously like expressing the feelings because they don't know what they're supposed to do right now so they're thinking like maybe if i'm expressing my feelings maybe if i'm talking to people maybe if i'm saying how i feel maybe i will not feel that anymore so all this person's talking about is how amazing they are how uh, good they were so again they're not accepting the truth so you need to make sure if you really love this person if you really want this person back in the, your lives they need to accept the truth guys otherwise this is never going to happen for, for, for a few of you if you are in a twin flame or a soulmate connection this person might be very very scared of the intensity of this connection and they're not even accepting that this is a twin flame or a soulmate connection and in that case all this person has to do is they need to accept the truth they need to accept what they actually have brought forward what they've actually done what this actually is okay because even when they talk to people i don't see the truth coming out it's more of a very immature energy they're talking to people good about themselves as if they didn't do any mistake because they want to feel good about themselves so that is not good again so this person's just kind of like believing the lies and living in the lies and saying people lies 
about themselves and making sure that everyone believes the lies. So that is what this person is doing. And I hope like this situation ends soon for you guys. Once this person accepts that you are their twin flame, you are their soulmate. And once they are wholeheartedly accepting their mistakes, accepting their lies, accepting what they did, this person definitely will come towards you. But till then, I don't know, guys, it is going to take a while. It is not going to happen overnight. So please don't think like as soon as you see the reading, please don't keep waiting for this person. Try to grow on your part. If you chose a pile number one, I would have told that this person will come like tomorrow or today even. But I don't see that kind of situation for you guys. But if you chose a pile number one that also, then you can probably take that as your answer, okay? So if you chose a pile number one and two, and if you're kind of confused what is right, then maybe this person will come soon because the pile number one energy was very, very strong. And that is the major energy that I'm getting here with a Hierophant, guys. And with the Page of Wands. So thank you all so much for all of your support. And if you really feel like this reading helped you all, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. But be beware of this person. Don't let them back in if they are not going to apologize and accept their mistakes because it is just going to make this relationship more complicated it's just going to make you feel more weird so yes guys i hope you understand what i'm trying to say so thank you all so much my lovelies bye guys see you all tomorrow and if you really like this reading make sure to give this video a thumbs up and if it helped you comment down below and please let me know i will reply to each and every comment and i would love to read your comments uh so that i know if my readings are good enough or i have to improve or anything that you want to say please make sure to comment down below and let me know guys i will be really happy to read them and to answer you all and to actually find out if my reading really help you all okay so bye guys i'll see you all tomorrow so for those of you who chose the pile number three with the seven of swords so the seven of swords uh, generally to be honest uh, in the traditional meaning as well as in the intuitive meaning it is a thief card in traditional meaning of tarot cards the seven of swords is a thief card someone taking something and running away this is a, like a thief card okay so uh, you when this card comes up it means that you might lose something or you might like uh, get rid of something but maybe something even negative okay so this can also be viewed in a positive way and also negative way something negative will go out of your life soon or someone might steal your things or you might lose your things it can have negative as well as positive meanings uh, but in this reading i'm going to do an intuitive message and according to me when this card comes up that too for a love message I see this as this person wanting something from you. So this is not unconditional love. If you chose this third pile number three, I'm really very, very sorry for uh, giving you uh, something negative in the beginning. But I have to tell you all to help you in your journey, guys. That is the main aim of my channel. I need to do it. So this person might be using you for a few of you they might want something from you they might uh, feel like you have something that they don't have or they might just feel you are a unique soul and they might like that about you so something uh, they want something from you they want to learn something from you uh, maybe you're a rich person or they want your money or you are uh, or maybe you are a person with a good heart and they want to use that they want to use that to kind of like 
physically satisfy them or something that this person is aiming and they want it from you okay and once they get what they want they're going to run away so just beware of this energy okay to uh, if you really like this person if you fall in love with this person doesn't mean you have to give everything to this person okay it's nothing like they propose to you and you marry this tomorrow to give this person everything that you have right so this is a time that you need to think guys please don't read act i mean please don't act with this person without thinking because they're going to take it as an advantage okay if you want this person to realize their mistake and if you want this person to completely surrender to you to, to completely come towards you then this is what you must do just just don't give in if this person uh, simply keeps asking you something, don't give it to them easily, okay? If this person wants you to stay with them, don't do that easily, okay? This is going to really make this person understand how, um, how tough you are to win and they need to put in effort to win you, okay? And guys, trust me, when someone puts in effort to win you, they are going to eventually start liking you. They're eventually going to have some respect on you. They're going to start liking you. So this is what you must do with this person. If you're dealing with such a person in your life and if you have, like, if you kind of have red flags or hints or the spirit guides or angels just telling you that, oh my God, this is not good. This person is just not good. Then this is the main thing that you must do, guys. Okay. You can take this as a relationship advice. Or you can take this as a tarot reader. I mean, as uh, me as a tarot reader and giving you a suggestion on how you must go about in this situation. But yes, please understand. Don't give in easily into this person. Don't give in easily into this relationship. If they're asking for something, make sure to keep like, like at least five to six conditions and even if like they're okay with all of these conditions just think about um your life in another two or three years if you're okay to go on with this uh, kind of a behavior if you're okay with this person if you want to have fun then it's fine but if you're looking for something strong if you're looking for something more stable and if this person is not um is not that strong stable kind of a person you're kind of realizing it but then you deeply love them then this is the message guys please make sure to not give in easily into this connection otherwise they're just going to use you and when they have everything they're just going to go away they're just going to run away because that is what this card means okay i will just pick out a few more cards in case if i've missed out any energies Yes, we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Definitely means that this is not the right time. And yes, this person definitely wants fun. They don't want a relationship that is committed. And they don't want this relationship that is like forever. So if you've developed some kind of idea on this person that they will kind of have this relationship forever, they will want to have this union forever with you, I don't think so. They don't want anything that is forever. They don't want a commitment right now, okay? Maybe this person just wants some um, fun and they might like, they might back away after some time, after they get what they will have, after they finally destroy you it's nothing like destroy some people are definitely da guys like that i'm just saying the truth and some people are definitely like that okay i wouldn't say everyone in your life will destroy you but no some people are definitely like that and personally in my life i have certain people who've done that to me and yes to be honest i can see the similar energy here i can feel the similar energy here so it's just my humble request to not give in into this relationship soon make them wait make them uh, understand that you are not easy to win and you will see that when someone tries hard to win you they will definitely fall in deeply love with you guys i'm so sure about that so make sure to make this play some games with this person so that they kind of like fall in love deeply with you like you fall in like you fell in love with them and yes this relationship will be a complete success so bye guys see you all tomorrow my lovelies bye